For my piece, I was interested in this art and science topic. For this, I decided to use DNA. I used an ink pad on the canvas to ensure that my fingerprints would show up. So I covered the entire background in my fingerprints. From there, I would then paint a double helix on it in front of all the fingerprints. I wanted to do black for the, the fingerprints because I believe that having a color would just make it too hectic, whereas with the black, it makes it a neutral look. This relates to science as all life forms have a DNA that will identify them, so this includes humans, animals, and even plants. All humans have fingerprints, however, everybody has a different set, there are no identical ones, and it's very easy to identify a person by their fingerprints. With DNA, it's easy to identify a person, and that's one thing I wanted to do in this is that I wanted this piece to identify me with my fingerprints and while I can't have my actual DNA, I decided that putting one up there that expressed me would be sufficient. In order for me to have the right DNA I imagined, I used chalk to create the double helix to what I was viewing on the canvas. Using chalk has allowed me to have my idea on the canvas without it being permanent and in the final product. I can use the chalk to guide me into where I want to have my paint on the canvas. I used acrylic paint to paint on the double helix. I liked the idea of wanting neon colors to make it pop. I also believe that it gives it some personality. It doesn't have regular colors that you normally see for a double helix. It, this is something different. Due to the neon colors being a little more transparent, I had to do multiple layers to get the paint to show up more and you wouldn't really see much of the black fingerprints in the background. <music> 